Today I'd like to share with you some of my Bibles since I got saved in 1979 and I'm not uh, doing this to exalt myself. I'm doing it because I love the Lord the Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I've got eight or nine Bibles here. Uh, right here, my first and my sister bought me on the end. That's my second one right there. And that's my third one. It's four out. And here's one that uh, I bought and gave to my mother several years ago. And between her and me, we wore that Bible out. And I got a strong dictionary. You can see it, it's falling apart. And what I'm saying, uh, if you love me, but the Bible says, if you love me, keep my commandments. I got a New Testament there, and no telling how many New Testaments I've lost through the years preaching on the street corners and, and giving away a lot of Bibles to preach. Uh, while I was preaching on the street corners to people that wanted a Bible. And so uh, I'm just uh, saying the Bible uh, tells me, if you love me, keep my commandments. And in First John 5, 2, we, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep His commandments. And we find in First John chapter 2, verse 3, And hereby we know that we know Him if we keep His commandments. He that saith, I know Him, and keep not His commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in them. John 14, 15 again, If you love me, keep my commandments. We find all these uh, Bibles on the market today. I'm talking about a 1611 King James Bible. Uh, Second Peter, uh, we find uh, uh, what uh, Peter writes about uh, uh, perverting the word of truth and resting the scriptures around to add to their own destruction. Uh, we find uh, in Matthew chapter 15, verse 6, making God's commandments of none effect. I go back in Jeremiah uh, chapter 23, I think, uh, 36. They perverted the word of God. And that's uh, what a lot of people, they pervert the Word of God, add uh, to their own destruction. And you'll find also in uh, Jeremiah's writing, they, somebody didn't like the Word of God. They took a pen knife to the Word of God. They threw it uh, in the burning for her. And I think about the, the Hebrew children. They were thrown in a furnace for her and they didn't burn, did they? And reason why they didn't burn, God was with them. And the Bible said in Matthew chapter 23, 35, Heaven and earth pass away, but my word will never pass away. And so I just thought I'd share this way, uh, this show what God can do to people. Pull me out of the horrible pit, set my feet up on the solid rock, establish my going, put a new song. Man, you know, a lot of people still got the same old filthy, rotten song they had before they claimed to get saved. Amen. There'll be a change come in your life when you get born in the family of God. Amen. And the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. You see the markings in the Bible here? I mean, uh, mark your Bible up. Don't be uh, ashamed to put some markings in your Bible. That way you know you've been there before and somebody else may see them and, and say, man, he studied the Bible. The word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So I, uh, I hope this will be a help and a blessing to you, the message I'm going to preach uh, about God's holy word and how people hate God's word and how they perverted God's word and, and thank be the God that ones that love the Lord will keep his commandments and hide the word of God in their heart that they may not sin against God. Amen. Second Timothy 3 16 and 17 it speaks about all scriptures given by inspiration of God. Uh, how? How this old 1611 King James Bible Thank God. And a man of God may be thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Not just a few good works, but all. Scripture is given the inspiration. It's God breathed. God, ain't God, it's real, it's alive. Quicker and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And I'd like to bring a message today uh, about the King James Bible. King James Bible only. 
I don't get get confused now. I said King James Bible only. There's one Lord, one faith. There's one body, one church, and here that church is Christ. And uh, he gave us uh, the Bible, infallible word, thank be God. Uh, you know, junk food will kill you. Uh, in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, there's a way that seemeth right, but the ends are ways of death. You think about it. There's just only one way to heaven. And if anybody enters in, not through the... Uh, door of the sheepfold, which is Jesus Christ. He said, I'm the door, and if you don't enter in that door, that door I'm talking about, uh, with the, thank God, the Word of God, you're not going to make it. Uh, you know, uh, pick and pay shoes, uh, they had a store, I don't know where they still got in there, pick and pay. Uh, even at the smoker board, pick and choose, or Cave's Castle with all the hundreds of stores they got, or Burger King, have it your way. Uh, by the way, you have many versions of the Bible. You can pick from, I mean, today, uh, you can just about pick any kind you want. But uh, they are dangerous to your soul. Hey, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, says this. Now, I'll be teaching you, brother, by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, that there be no divisions among you, but you be perfect, joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. Like I said, they're just one church. That's the church of the living God. And there's just one way to get there. And that's through Jesus Christ. And there's just one Bible today for the American people or anybody else in the world today. It's a King James, uh, 1611 King James Bible. <laughs> Amen. Galatians 5.9. It's said a little leaven. Leaven's a whole lump. Uh, we find in Ecclesiastes, uh, dead flies uh, cause ointment of the apostolic to send before the sinking Savior. So does a little folly. Him that uh, is reputation and wisdom and honor. Dead flies cause the medicine and the pharmacy. I mean, it just devoured it. It ruins it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And the Bible said they that worship God must worship in spirit and truth. I got the I got the truth, thank God. Uh that's why we should earnestly contend for the faith once delivered to the saints. One Bible. Just good as another. Well, I'll give you this scenario. Jezebel as your wife. Or maybe Hiller Bell, Bill Clinton's wife. <laughs> oh boy. I, I ran across this article that caught my eye. Uh, a few days ago, a painting uh, it contains the work of Rembrandt. And if you had a remake of Rembrandt, it would actually be counterfeit and would be false. It'd be a fake, amen. What would it be worth? I'd say it'd be worthless. The real question is whether God preserved his word or not. If he did, or if he did not, then our Bible is corrupt beyond repair. Then we are left blind and left in the dark. Like I said, there's one Bible, and that uh, God's inspired, inspired word, the King James Bible. Uh, one time, uh, the Bible was the best-selling uh, book on the market. I don't know what it is today, but I, I do know a long time ago, uh, in uh, 1778 uh, through 82, when it's, they started working on the Bible to pass a law. I mean, uh, in Congress, they passed a law, and they bought Bibles uh, for the military, also for the public school, but in... Uh, but in 1963, one old hag who called herself Madeline O'Hara, the atheist, and the Congress kicked God out of the public school. And we've been going downhill uh, faster and faster like a snowball, amen, ever since. John chapter 4, 24 again. If you're going to worship God, you will worship in spirit and truth, amen. I, like a lot of people today, like old Pilate of old uh, in John uh, chapter 15, you find Pilate said, what is the truth? And John chapter 8, there, you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And I'm the way, the truth, and the light, and no man come to the Father but by me, thank God. Hey, the, the truth is there is just one Bible that God will honor today for the American people, uh, speaking people, or the world, as far as that goes, 1611 King James Bible. I ask you to uh, take a $100, uh, $100 bill that is counterfeit, take it to the bank, and ask the clerk, it, it will, 
what, what part will he honor that $100 bill? He won't honor none of it, hey man. That's what I'm talking Oh, some people say, well, he'll honor some of it. There's enough change in it to get you saved. I don't know about that. I wouldn't bet my life on that, amen. Bible said in Ephesians 4, verse uh, through 4 and 6, there's one God, there's one spirit, there's one body, one hopes you call it, amen. Uh, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And one God and Father above all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. And one Bible, one church, the head of the body, the church of Christ, the hank be to God. There are hundreds of Bibles on the market today uh, of all sorts. Like the uh, song that goes uh, hey, uh, about buying a Bible. And when I got saved, my sister gave me a King James Bible. I went to the bookstore in Chattanooga and bought myself a Schofield King James Bible. I took it home and started reading it. I realized uh, something was wrong. And that uh, and that thing was a new King James. <laughs> I mean, that thing was a new King James version. So I took it back, uh, hanged it uh, for the right one. I, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know it and probably don't care, but there's... Uh, Around 100,000 changes made in New King James Version. And by the way, there's a sodomite on the board of directors. I just, I just come to my mind about the New King James Version. Uh, on, on, on the front of it, the preface, it got a, a logo of 666. You know what, or, what 666 is? is? <laughs> Don't you mad? It's a mark of the beast. And Billy Graham, your great... Reverend Billy Graham, the most murdered man in America today, endorsed that thing. And I, I'm talking about corruption in the in New King James Version and the new NIV. You know, it had two sodomites on board also. Check out the word. Sodomites omitted. Around 6,500 deletions are, uh, they took away. Why? How many, how many people has Billy Graham helped uh, send, uh, I mean, to hell? I have a newspaper clip uh, in the back of one of my old Bibles uh, that's uh, uh, going to show you. And uh, this, is what it, this is what it read. Uh, there's a, uh, somebody come to Billy and asked him, uh, Billy, my son's going to graduate and I was wanting to buy him a Bible. And I didn't know there's so many Bibles out there and just a lot of confusion. And this cut uh, the article short. Uh, uh, mean uh, Billy's reply. There are many translation and editions of the Bible available today, but don't let that discourage you. No, no, don't let that discourage you. After all, it means at least one, one probably right for your grandson. You talk about confusion, and Billy's right. There are many out there who change the truth of God in line, worship and serve their preacher. Creator who's blessed forever. Read that in Romans 125. That's talking about the Sodomites too. Hey man. And made the commandments of God in none effect. Matthew 15, 6, Acts 24, 15. They subverted they, they subverted the truth, hey man. And Second Peter uh, again, they rest the scripture around to add to their own destruction. I'm, I'm saying, people, you need to study the Bible like the folks in Bria did to see if these things are so. What you, what I'm preaching to you or what these other preachers are preaching to you, amen. That's reading the Bible uh, uh, tells us and says this. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Above all, take the shield of faith. And more with you shall be able to quench all the fire and darks of the devil. Or in the wicked, whatever. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. Right here, what I'm preaching the other day. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, which is the word of God. And you know, the Bible said in Matthew 4, 4, Man shall not live bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. I, I recall, I recall the first woman, uh, uh, uh Change the world around. Make chaos come up on mankind. Uh, Genesis chapter 3 verse 1, the old devil said, Yeah, God said. He's questioning God's word. That's what they're still doing today, amen. And uh, we find the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat all the fruit of the tree of the garden. And listen, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, neither shall you touch it. God didn't say nothing about touching it. That's a lie. That's probably the first lie I told right in this uh, scripture right here. He said, lest you die. 
The devil said, why, you shall surely not die. And just like the seven day did, man, well, you just go to the grave and sleep there uh, forever, and, and hell's not really a burning place like Billy Brown teaches. I just a small thing, isn't it? it no, I mean, it seems just a small thing. Hey, the day, the old devil, he's still walking around as a roaring lion. Amen. After I got saved by the good grace of God, uh, by the word of God, thank God, uh, the Bible tells us in First Peter 1, 23, being born again, not a corruptible seed, but incorruptible by the word of God, thank God, which liveth and bideth forever. Uh, the seed is the word of God, you'll find in Luke 8, 11. Thanks uh, be to God. Somebody sowed the seed, the word, of God in my heart, I'll tell you who it was, my school friend I went to school with years ago in grade school and then some of the high school, and he witnessed to me 35 years ago. I got under Holy Ghost conviction. Uh, that's what you, uh, people need to do today. Get under a Holy Ghost conviction, amen. And uh, I got saved uh, listening to Psalms uh, 126, verse 5. They that, uh, they that sow in tears shall reap in righteousness. Thank God. Uh, they go forth bearing precious seed. Thank God for the seed. Uh, thank be to God for uh, Joe Rains, who has gone to be with the Lord several years ago now. And I'm talking about the, the Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. The Word was God, I, then. I repented. I, I, I repented, thank God, according to Acts 17 and 30. He commanded men everywhere to repent. And this crowd don't believe in repentance, or are they going to wind up in hell too? And we got a lot of Baptists don't believe in repentance like I do, amen. After I got saved, thank God I got sealed uh, by the Holy Ghost of God. Uh, you're sealed on the day of redemption, Ephesians 4.30, and this is uh, Ephesians 1.13. After I heard the word of truth, the gospel of salvation, I was sealed, thank be to God. And you'll find in Romans uh, uh, chapter 6, verse 17, 8, but God be thanked that you were the servant of sin, but you have obeyed. Obeyed what? The gospel, thank God. Uh, and from the heart, uh, uh, the form of doctrine was delivered done to you. Somebody told me about the Lord. I repented. Thank God I got saved. Then being made uh, free from sin, I become a servant of righteousness. Thank be to God. In John chapter 12, verse uh, 32, the Bible said, If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Uh, and then this uh, uh, this. Uh, Calvin, this outfit, uh, you're dead. You can't do nothing. Uh, thank God you got a choice to choose the Bible. You got a choice to go to the right church. You got a choice to choose uh, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Don't tell me uh, a dead man can't do nothing. And the Bible said, No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me. Draw him, thank God. And he said, uh, All that come to me, I will no wise cast out in John 6 37. The uh, Bible said in uh, Matthew 11 28 through 30, Come unto me, all you labor and heavy laden. Thank God. God, I was in labor, and I needed rest, thank God. And I found rest in my soul. I was saved from the pits of hell, was baptized according to 1 Corinthians 12, 13, and this church of God outfit. Uh, I mean, the rest of the scriptures around and, and talk about the baptism, uh, Holy Ghost, and all this. I was baptized in one body, thank God, by the Spirit of God. That's the Holy Ghost baptism. The old man died out according to Colossians chapter 3. He said, you are dead and your life is hid with Christ. I mean, my life is hid with Christ in God. Thank God he has got me locked in, amen. He has got me preserved, thank God. Hey, my, hey, my my first Bible, my sister Donna bought, I, I, I show it to you on the film. Uh, and, uh, she, and she gave me my first Bible in March 79. And... Uh, and Brother Wade Brown, a good friend of mine, he's going on to be the Lord, uh, he bought me a, uh, brought me a, up a, to my home a package of scripture verses. And let me say this first. Hey, back to the Bible verses uh, that were uh, about uh, 50 verses in the package. And I memorized those verses. And I said, I would like to memorize more by December, by Christmas. And I set a goal to reach. I had over 250 verses hid in my heart in three months by the end of December. Throughout the years, uh, I have memorized around 3,500 to 4,000 Bible scriptures. I've even been laughed uh, in Bible churches, uh, Baptist churches rather, uh, because I quote scriptures of the Bible. Hey, man, you believe that, the brother, and make fun of it gee, for uh, quoting scriptures? And I, I memorized all these verses up to this point in my life. Do you know the Pharisees memorized five books of the Pentateuch? If that religious crowd can do that, 
we who are Christians should hide also the Word of God in our heart. And you know what the Pentateuch are? That's the five books that uh, Moses wrote. And that's what I said. The, the Bible says, the Word have I hid in my heart. I might not sin against thee. The Bible says, we're with us, shall young man cleanse away, but taking heed according to this Word. Not them other perversions, amen. I've got a stack of other versions. I've studied the other versions. I've ramshacked the other versions. I've memorized even some scriptures out from the <coughs> from the other versions, amen. Uh, Bible tells us more to be desired than honey. Sweeter than the honeycomb, thank God. Uh, sweet uh, in my mouth, thank God. And I'll tell you another thing. The law of the Lord is perfect, converted in the soul, amen. For the Bible is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing and dividing soul and spirit and joints of mar is a discerner of the thoughts of the intent of the heart, thank God. And that's what I'm talking about, uh, Apostle Paul. Finally, be strong in the Lord, uh, brethren. I Just like I said, when I got saved, I, I didn't know nothing about all these other perversions. And most people don't care where they know anything about. Give me an NIV. Give me a New King James. Give me a American Standard. Give me a Living Bible. Just give me some of that old junk. Amen. I don't care. It's Bible, ain't it? No, it's not a Bible. Amen. I, I told the clerk uh, at the bookstore, I wanted a 1611 King James Schofield Bible. I didn't know anything about a new uh, King James Schofield Bible uh, back then. I found out later they were uh, around 100,000 uh, 100, deletions in it. I mean, they just, what they don't like, they cut out. Like uh, uh, Jeroboam, uh, Jerichim over, Jerichim or whatever his name, over in uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter uh 23 through 38, somewhere 36 through there, I think. And they just took a pen knife to it. And that's what these uh, people done, amen. And I found out later, I mean, all these deletions in it. I mean, they just deleted everything. And uh, they perverted the truth. God said in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 2, diminish not all from the Bible. Proverbs tells us in 30, verse 5 and 6, uh, every word of God is pure. It's true. I mean, there's no reversing in it. I mean, what God's spoken, that's it. And don't add to it. Don't take away from it. Amen. We find in Revelation chapter 22, verse 18, the Bible gives you a strong warning. Don't tamper with God. Amen. I'm the Lord and I change not. Thank God. He said he'll add unto the plagues written in his Bible. Did he really mean it or uh, did he just put that in there to take up space? I just like I said, Jeremiah, I mean, you, it says you have perverted the, the word of the living God. I recall, just like I said, that fellow taking that pen now. And didn't like it and cut out some pages. And the king uh, just burned it in the fire. I mean, all that Jeremiah wrote. I'm, I'm saying, the it, Bible tells us, the prophecy came not in time old by will of men, but holy men, thank God, in First Peter 1, 19 and 20. And uh, the scripture, I just, uh, some of it I just quoted out of Second Timothy 3, 16, 17. All, not just part, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. Thank God. And it is powerful. It'll cut you all to pieces, amen. Just like a rock, Jeremiah said. I, break, uh, I mean, like a hammer that breaks the rock to pieces. Do you realize uh, that God used his holy word, thank God, and the world was framed by God's word. And in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, upholding all things by the word of his power, thank God. Who, who, who's the word? He exalted his name above uh, I mean, all the... Uh, Names in uh, Psalms 138, I believe it is. Uh, it's somewhere uh, in there anyway. But anyway, in John chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. I'll share a true story about Frank Lawson, Dr. Frank Lawson. It was uh, the co founder of the New American Standard Version. And some folks started approaching Dr. Lawson uh, about all the changes that ended. In, and he acted like he knew nothing about it. Then repented about it. And I'm, I'm just saying, I don't know, but I'm just going what the Bible says. Uh, and just like Esau of old found no re place for repentance, even though he shed tears. And Revelation 22, 18, and uh, it talks about if you take away, God said, I didn't say it. And that thing sold thousands of copies, no doubt. And this is what he said, I must under God, denounce every attachment to the New American Standard. And I'm afraid I'm in trouble with the Lord. 
and I wrote the uh, format. I wrote the preface. I'm in trouble. It's terribly wrong. It's frightening wrong. The deletions. I mean, absolutely frightening. God said, don't do it, and he done it. Uh, uh, like the uh, song goes, you better uh, get some good advice if you don't know what to buy about when you buy a Bible, amen. Don't listen to the Reverend Billy Graham, amen. I had some signs up on Frank Lawson several years ago when this happened, and uh, I had it uh, big letters. And uh, somebody come through from Crossville, Tennessee, and they said, is that sign for sale? And I said, not really. And they, they wanted it. And I said, you know, being who I am, wanting to, I, I'm a sign man, hey man. I, I believe in signs on the street corners. I believe in signs on my truck. Uh, and I get condemned for that, hey man. I'm just telling you, I, I sold them the signs for what I had in it. And somebody come through before that and wanted to know if, uh, if I had Bibles for sale. And they told me that wasn't right to put that that sign like you got in condemned Bibles. Uh, well, that's what's wrong in the church today. A lot of people don't want to condemn nothing they've had. Uh, I'm asking you as a nation to uh, change partners. In these days, I asked you another question. Have the churches gone astray? Have they changed partners? I tell you, as long as I have breath in this old body, I'm going to expose Hiles Anderson. I'm going to expose uh, Billy Graham. And uh, like I said, uh, the church in Hammond, Indiana, and uh, they have several thousand lay members and thousands of preacher boys all over the world. And they still promote that gospel from Hiles Anderson uh, College. Tapes, cassettes, books, uh, and whatever. And uh, Jack said before he died, uh, if he ever failed, if uh, if I ever go down, fundamental uh, Baptist would fall with him. Well, he thought he thinks he's God, and some of his people did think he was God. They act like he was God. They even had some to bow their head and pray to him like he was God. He said, "The world needs me. The world don't need none of us." I'm talking about Jesus Christ. He said, "The rock to uh, cry out if he wanted to." He had a uh, Jack asked uh, speak one time, didn't he? Hey, uh, Jack, uh, son-in-law, after Jack died in 2001, uh, uh, he pastored uh, the college and the church till he got caught up on the cell phone ordeal. And it's like I said, I preach uh, this about every message I preach, and I don't care where you like it or don't like it. I'm trying to show you the way, the right way, amen. Get you out of darkness, open your blinded eyes. It's the devil that blinded you, amen. And uh, I'm just saying, it, this fellow, I mean, this fundamental that they all these big time preachers like David Gibbs and Johnny Polk and Larry Brown and uh, Clarence Saxon and John Wilkerson all uh, think uh, I mean he's a thing hey, man I can tell you all kinds of stories and I have told you stories but this uh, feller Jack Shaw says there are 22,000 mistakes in the King James Bible do you realize there's only 33 plus uh, thousand Scriptures in the Bible, and he tells us a Baptist preacher, a perverse Baptist preacher, by the way, a lost Baptist preacher, by the way, and if he don't repent, he's going to be like a lot of other people in Howells Anderson Day. Thank God, they a lot of good people come out of that church and wouldn't tolerate uh, what he was teaching. Amen. 22,000 words deleted. I think about Lester Roloff. Thank God that a lot of people didn't like him either. And uh, he said that about the 1611 King James Bible. He, he put it this way. He gave us a scenario on this way. He said, somebody come to my house and get a butcher knife after my mother and start whacking her up. He said, what do you think I would do? He wouldn't be like the Jehovah Witness called the law. I mean, I think he'd use his sword. Hey, man, that's what I think. I'm talking about the sword that Peter uh, cut Macula's ear off with. That's what I believe. And we don't even get upset when they change the Word of God around. they got so many perversions out there today, sending people to hell, and Billy Graham is endorsed about everything come down the pike. All these false perversion, RSV, I mean, I mean he, he got into it all, amen, because he's a He's a preacher pleaser, amen. You talk about the confusion in the Baptist church. There's a way that seems right, but the ends are ways of death. And Jesus said, again, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word, every word, not just part of the word, every word. If you love me, keep my commandments. And 
Bible said one time, he answered the Sadducees. That's what we, I'm answering today. A bunch of you Sadducees, Pharisees, religious uh, people are on their way to hell. You err, not knowing the Scripture, nor the power of God. And John 10, 35, the Scriptures cannot be broken. I tell you what, when I preach the message on the YouTube or Facebook, I'll quote more Scriptures than I probably, and uh, average preacher uh, even preaching a whole month, and maybe two months, amen. I'm not... Uh, I'm not just saying, I'm just lifting myself up. I'm telling you, I memorize scriptures. I use scriptures, and I'm not ashamed of it. That's what the people were to uh, preach in the, uh, in the churches today. Instead, at the altar call, I tell old Poopo, he, he got run over by a semi-truck or a train run over him, and we jerk some tears out, and we get people saved because we hit a soft spot, amen. I'm telling you, preach the word to them. That's what Jesus did in Mark chapter I believe it was two, wasn't it? I brought that uh, man, uh, I mean, couldn't get to the house of God, and they let him down through the roof, and he preached the word to them, amen. That's what's wrong in the average church today. We tell a bunch of stories. Uh, we don't hide the word of God in our heart. We get a little essay, a good report, and we have good speakers, and boy, everybody loves us. I tell you, in Malachi 3, 6, Jesus said, I'm the Lord. I changed no. Hebrew 13, 8. I mean, the same years today, day and forever. In James 1, 17, there's no verse, there's a shadow turning in them, amen. Jesus said, not one jot, one tittle. Hey, look in Psalms, or look it up on the uh, Google search. You'll find uh, the jots and tittles, how small them words were. And he said, them little old jot, them little old tittles will not, and they changed thousands of words, and they still changed them. And we got Baptist preachers using these other versions, perversions, amen. I mean, jots and tittles. In Matthew chapter 23, verse 35, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. There's that 24, 35, I believe. <laughs> my mind, my mind, my mouth works faster than my mind sometimes, amen. And again, you shall not live bread alone, but every word. And like I said, Jesus framed the world, upholding the word. And by the word, he spoke this world in his essence. Thank God. Hey, uh, God preserved his word thank, here on earth. If we not got the word of God, if we just got a part of the word of God, how did I believe in John chapter 14, 1, 2, 3? Or all these other scriptures that I'm eternally saved, amen. Hey, Jesus preserved the copy of God's holy word on earth. If God can preserve me, thank God, in Jude chapter 1, served in Jesus Christ, thank God, called by the Holy Spirit, and kept by the power of God, unto him able to keep you from falling, thank God, in verse 24. I mean, if he can keep something as small as uh, jots and tickets, you say, that's in heaven. No, it's here on earth. If we not got the word of God down here, we're in darkness even today, amen. And you are to sue your brain for non-support because your brain is probably melted and run down in your shoes, amen. Listen to this. The words of the Lord are pure words. as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forevermore. Long as they're ahead of the church and the body of the church, uh, which is us, God got us preserved. Thank be to God. Matthew chapter 25, 23, verse 25. Many shall come in my name and deceive many. Look at Billy Graham. Look at Joel Olstein. Look at uh, Rick Warner. Uh, at, uh, Hi Bill Hyvel and and Trouts and and Glory and T D Jakes and uh, Benny Hand and and uh, uh, this Surf Old Dollar and I can go on and on. It'd take me too long to exalt all oh, these preachers are are sending you to hell and you love them preachers. You send your money to them. You sow your seed and they'll say we'll send you. A, Cadillac, amen. And you'll be rich like me, living in one of my 35, 40 million dollar mansions, amen. You say, you don't know what you're talking about. All you do is hurting the cause. No, I'm telling you the truth. If you don't wake up out of your slumber and sleep, awake to righteousness and sin, no. Some have not the knowledge of God. There was a lost same day that Adventist and his wife, she was a preacher, thank God. I mean, uh, you know, God made no such uh, thing as a preacher, but she was a preacher. And, uh, I mean, he, she done all the talking. And uh, I tell you, he's taking place of man. And I suffer not a woman to teach her authority over man. But I'm just telling you, uh, the other day, uh, uh, 
just like I said, about the lost Seventh-day Adventists. And uh, they say, oh, I think I made them mad a little bit. And uh, he's talking about, I just, I, I'm talking about my abortion pictures and preaching on the street corners and my abortion signs and preaching on sodomy with my abortion signs, uh, with my uh, sodomy signs. And they say, oh, you just should uh, preach Christ-centered. Well, you think about what they preach. They, they, they preached the mark of the beast. They preached Daniel all the time. And they preach there's no hell all the time. And hell is just a grave. And the dead knoweth nothing. And if you worship on Sunday, it's a mark of the beast. And I'm not saying they're, I'm, I'm not talking about just bad out, out people, but they're deceived by the devil, amen. Have you ever heard this before? I've heard it with the, with the Ku Klux Klan. I've heard it with a different uh, de denomination. And uh, Jesus said to the dying thief on on the on the cross right side there at Calvary he said today shall they live in paradise they, they change and add a coma and tell you Jesus totally dying thing someday someday you'll be in paradise and up to that time you, you, and when, when you die today you'll just go to the grave just lay there no if you're lost you go in the pits of hell amen in flames of torment and they got it wrong. And they propagate lies about the dead. And Ecclesiastes, boy, they use, this is one of their favorite, one of their favorite scriptures. And then after that, they'll say, the meek and the earth. You can have this thinking earth. Thank God, God's going to create a new heaven, new earth. We're in dwellers' righteous. Amen. They won't be around. Uh, and they teach you, you just lay in the grave till Jesus comes again. That's what I'm talking about. They rest in the scriptures, add to their own Oh no, no, they're good people. They're on their way to heaven. There are not many roads to heaven. As George Bush uh, would tell you, he'd be the Ram's convert, and uh, that just one road. And the Muslims not going to make it either. And he said the Muslims are the same God that uh, I serve, and and Billy Ram George. Said, well, you don't know where they're going. Yeah, I know where they're going. They're going to hell, Amen. There's very little hope for the Muslims and all this uh, radical crowd. Uh, it's done been brainwashed through the years. And a lot of Baptists been brainwashed with them. And I'm talking about who, people who change the truth of God in line, worship and serve their preacher more than their creator who is blessed forever. Amen. And they, like I said, our, uh, the Catholics, they change the second commandment. And they worship Pope. I, I mean, that's her, that's her back her of Christ. And that's who they worship. They bow down, and they bow down to Murray. And they have no other God before, but they change that around. But you don't care, do we? Still love the Catholic Church, and I tell you, there's many Catholics in this world. You won't believe everything in Washington. I do believe the Catholic runs this world today. And you talk about the, uh, 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 you know, Rome sets on seven hills. And they're taking over. What do you think they're doing in Congress today and Washington today? And God give us the Muslims to finish off this thing, amen. I'm talking about the King James Bible only. And the Bible said, and they that despise me. I mean, listen, I will honor them that honor me and them that despise me. You think about it. King James Bible only. Thank God I'm a King James Bible a believer, a preacher, and I'm preaching this book till I die. I probably not got too long here, and if uh, days are cut short, the good Lord's coming in a few days anyway. He's setting this thing up for the thousand-year millennial reign, and we're not going through no stinking tribulation either. God's not pointing us to us. Thank God. Study the Bible and see what the Bible says instead of uh, resting the scripture around and adding to your own destruction. Hey, man. Today I like to share with you some my uh, Bibles since I got saved in 1979 and I'm not uh, doing this to exalt myself I'm doing it because I love the Lord the Savior Jesus Christ uh, I've got eight or nine Bibles here uh, I hear my first and my sister bought me on the end that's my second one right there and that's my third one it's four out and here's one that uh, I bought and gave to my mother several years ago. And between her and me, we wore that Bible out. And I got a strong dictionary. You can see it, it's falling apart. And what I'm saying, 
uh, if you love me, but the Bible says, if you love me, keep my commandments. I got a New Testament turn, no telling how many New Testaments I've lost through the years preaching on the street corners and, and giving away a lot of Bibles to preach. Uh, uh, well, I was preaching on street corners to people that wanted a Bible. And so uh, I'm just uh, saying the Bible uh, tells me, if you love me, keep my commandments. And in 1 John 5, 2, we, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. And we find in verse John chapter 2, verse 3, And hereby we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keep not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in them. John 14, 15 again, If you love me, keep my commandments. We find all these uh, Bibles on the market today. I'm talking about a 1611 King James Bible. Uh, Second Peter, uh, we find uh, uh, what uh, Peter writes about the uh, perverting the word of truth and resting the scriptures around to add to their own destruction. Uh, we find uh, in Matthew chapter 15 verse 6 making God's commandments of none effect. I go back in Jeremiah uh, chapter 23 I think, uh, 36. They perverted the word of God. And that's uh, what a lot of people, they pervert the word of God, add uh, to their own destruction. And you'll find also in uh, Jeremiah's writing, they, somebody didn't like the word of God. They took a pen knife to the word of God. They threw it uh, in the burning fire. And I think about the, the Hebrew children. They were thrown in a furnace fire and they didn't burn, did they? And reason why they didn't burn, God was with them. And the Bible said in Matthew chapter 23, 35, Heaven and earth pass away, but my word will never pass away. And so I just thought I'd share this way, uh, this show what God can do to people. Pull me out of the horrible pit, set my feet up on the solid rock, establish my going, put a new song. Man, you know, a lot of people still got the same old filthy, rotten song they had before they claimed to get saved. Amen. There'll be a change come in your life when you get born in the family of God. Amen. And the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. You see the markings in the Bible here? I mean, uh, mark your Bible up. Don't be uh, ashamed to put some markings in your Bible. That way you know you've been there before and somebody else may see them and, and say, man, he studied the Bible. The word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So I, uh, I hope this will be a help and a blessing to you, the message I'm going to preach uh, about God's holy word and how people hate God's word and how they perverted God's word and, and thank be the God that ones that love the Lord will keep his commandments and hide the word of God in their heart that they may not sin against God. Amen.